So I'm one of the sustainable engineering interns. There's four of us. We're working on about seven different projects looking at the different sustainable systems out here on Appledore. If the saltwater pump is reduced, then we could maybe have the generator run only six. So sustainability is very important for Shoals because they have to bring everything out here by boat. So they're always looking for ways to reduce their resources. Sustainable interns have seven different projects and the well citing one is to increase the freshwater island resource so that we don't have to run the reverse osmosis pump. That's a very energy intensive process so being able to have another source of fresh water on the island is a very important project. Over here it's 55.7 Another one of the projects was in the electrical conservation building and in there is where the battery banks are housed for the island's photovoltaic arrays. So the sunlight has been helping us run all of our electricity usage and as the day goes on, those battery banks will kick in and we'll be able to have energy for about five more hours after the sun goes down. The Rainwater Project is one of the water resource conservation projects. It uh, collects rainwater off of the building and stores it in a tank and we're designing a system to pump that over to Celia Thaxter's garden and that way we don't have to use the very valuable freshwater potable resource to water the garden. They're kind of peaking right now it looks like. Yeah, so, so does guessing. that mean the bank is full? I think it's really exciting to see that there's already a community out there who put so much effort into sustainable technology and researching how it can be applied in a real world setting. It's very applicable to what we want to do, you know, all of us as people interested in sustainability, um, because you get to look at basically the major systems that we have anywhere in the world, but on a very small, self-sufficient scale.